Hi everyone, Emmylou here. Today we're going to draw a cheetah. I'm going to draw it for James and I'm going to draw it for everyone. So it's based on David Shepherd. So we did earlier on, we did a Warus based on this artist. He's such an awesome artist, such an amazing artist. So he would go out in the wild and he would draw things from life. So I haven't got a cheetah in front of me to draw from life, but I'm going to draw a picture from that. So we've got like a really cool gorilla. I think we've got a, a gazelle. I think it might be a caribou, I don't know. But we've got a cheetah there. So we're going to draw one. We're going to draw one. So he's not alive anymore. Um, I think it says there that he was born 1931. But unfortunately, he died in 2017, which made me really sad. But he's still got all of his beautiful artworks on show. This is a picture that he did. How amazing is that? That's like a painting. It looks like a photograph, but it's a painting. And then we've got... The gorilla is <laughs> Then, elephant. You can't go wrong with an elephant. I love elephants. Elephants are awesome. And then... We've got a lion. So that's kind of cool. So first of all, we need a piece of paper, landscape, so not long ways, that way. Then a pencil. So we're gonna start off with thinking, right, okay, this is gonna be a tricky one. I'm not gonna lie to you, but it's gonna be a really fun one to do. So let's just take it slow. We're gonna draw lightly. So the first thing you need is you wanna do, I wanna do it so you don't have to rub out much, I think. So. Let's do a line like a rainbow. So you're gonna do a line like a rainbow like that. And you're gonna do this bit here, touch this bit here, and you're gonna go down. So you're doing line, down. Then you're going to do this. A line across, a little line across. I feel like I need to bring this forward because this bit's tricky. That'd be fine, I think. And then down. So you're going to do line, across, or diagonal, across, sleeping, and then diagonal again. Then you're going to do this. You're going to go, think about, think about how it looks a bit like a heart or a W. So it could be a heart upside down or a W. So wobbly line like that. And then you're going to go up. So think of it like, I don't know why, but it reminds me of like, maybe a, a heart upside down. And then we want to add some ears in here. So this will help you once we add the ears, because at the moment it probably looks like a strange shape. So we want to do touch about there and you're going to do this down. Make this into a triangle. So it's a triangle there. Then you've got this bit. And then on this bit here, touch this bit here. And you're gonna do any ear you like that's a bit like a triangle. Then you're gonna to touch that and you're gonna do this. So you've got two ears and the head needs to be flat now. So you can go over it flat like that if you like or you can keep it rounded, it's up to you. Now we want the eyes. So where you've got this, you're just gonna do this. Just like a little line, just and we're going to do the eyes like this. Here you're going to put an eye in, and here you're going to put an eye in. So you've got two eyes, and we're going to put a little dot where it's like shining. And I'm going to colour them just so we can see what we've got. If you're getting too confused with this, try not to panic. Just go back to the video from the beginning and just slowly do it. I'd say this eye is going to be more rounded. Right, where you've got the, can you see the eye and this? You could add a line if you like. So you're just gonna do this. You're just gonna add a line there. And the nose is a line here. So just add a line and then join that up to here. So it's a bit like a triangle and we're gonna have some lines up here. So it's quite small, but it's a line there, line there. And I'd like to do a line there just to show that there's some lines, basically. <laughs> so think about the bottom of the mouth. We're gonna just do a line like that. So it's like a cat's mouth. 
once you've done that we're going to do the body and it's going to be really like it's going to be really running really fast really really fast so touch the top of the ear about here not right on the top just here can you see it and then you're going to go round so you're going up try and get it up so you do the line another line so it's like two lines like a rainbow but not and that one's shorter that one's longer and then you're going to do pointy line so it's a pointy line try and do that if you can if you can't do it it's fine so once you've done that there we're going to make a cool tail so touch this bit here and you can do if you've got room you can do the tail however you like but it's just a wobbly line and then you're going to make that think about a cat's tail and it gets smaller 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 and then stops so it's going to stop about here if you're not sure where it stops don't worry just stop it where it looks like i stopped it so where you've done that maybe stop it there so it levels up okay now we're going to touch that bit and we're going to go choo. so just think choo. and then this is what makes it kind of look cool because we're going to touch that bit there float over so don't press down just fly and then put your pencil there just there now you're going to go ah. so try and do like a c shape if you can't get it don't worry just try and do it like that now the body i think to help you the body would look cool if you cut, touch this bit here and you're basically going to go all the way across like that so just go all the way across then you're going to join that up to the head so just go all the way across we're going to rub some of this out don't want to confuse you so we're better off creating that bit that'll look cool do a couple of lines there if you want now the back of these legs so touch this bit here and you're going to go out and then you're going to make these into paws so however you want to, there we go, so you've got his little paws there, however you want to draw them and they're going to have nails in them probably. So if you don't know what, what I'm doing, you're going to do almost like a U shape with the, with the nails in there, line and then go up. So then that means you're going to rub out this line. Oh no. I've just realised my two picks doesn't work. So get your rubber and just rub out that line. You don't need that line anymore. Right, next to this one, touch the tummy and go across. And you're going to go up and like round like that. So it's like you're creating a rectangle almost. So stay on that leg, go across. Whoa. If it's getting confusing don't worry just bear with me just carry on and then this shape touch this bit here and you're going to go down till you get past that paw now you're going to join it up join up the paw and then where you've got your paw you're just going to do a roundy bit so just a roundy bit coming out from the paw and then we're going to go round and this think of it as a, this is another leg so this is going to be your other leg. So as long as it looks a little bit like that, that is awesome. He's trying to catch something. So he's in sort of like, you know, like a cat would running, running, running. We're nearly finished. So don't worry if you're thinking, ah, I can't do it. It's fine. It will look cool no matter what. Now, what you want to do is, you know, this line, touch where you got there and just go down past that one and just like that so you're doing a line that's going past and it's just touching that one so you can do a round bit touch that bit then you're gonna go rah, join it up you can add a bit there but i probably won't worry too much getting too confusing so whoa roundy then up again now we might want to rub that out as well if we need to to be fair i might not but we could rub that out yeah do you know what i might you don't have to though okay this is probably the most 
hardest one I've done because I didn't show you a circle for the head because I felt that to rub all that out would maybe be confusing for you. So see how you get on, let me know, and if not, I can do another one that's a leopard. Um, I've done a leopard already, I could do another one that's maybe, what's the other one, a minx? Could do lots of different cats, couldn't we? So anyway, touch there and go down till you get to about here. So use your eyes, it's about here. So on that L shape, it'd be about there. Then you're gonna do this, you can do a line and then a round bit. So a line and a round bit. Then you're gonna do a roundy bit. And then, so this is his other leg. Now what he's doing is, is he's running, he's trying to catch something probably. So this leg goes out, that leg goes down, we've got that leg, and this one's your back leg can't really see it's going to come from here so don't worry too much about adding everything because it's going to get a little bit tricky but ultimately he's got four legs that's as long as you've got four legs it's all good and this is quite advanced so don't worry if you're thinking whoo this is hard right what you want to do we're going to do some I want to do some claws so just do a couple of claws on some of it depends where his feet are Right, now, I'm going to colour the nose in black. And what you want to do is, if it's a cheetah, it's normally got these cool patterns on his back. I mean, there's loads of them. So you can do it like that, or you can just do a circle like that. But I quite like putting these in. And if you think about it, near the face, that's when they're smaller. So I'm just going to do a couple, I don't want to do too much. And if you want, as I say, you can just do circles here and there. I'm going to keep this simple because your drawing was quite hard. So I think it's better to keep this simple. Okay, right, let's say for example, that's all we kind of need for now. Right, what I want to do is I'm going to use chalk. I kind of want him jumping over something, the rainbow, that'd be so cool. Let's keep him as he is, I think, today. Okay, what we want, let's have a look. I am going to see what colour I need. So look for your either pastels or chalks, whatever you want, like chalk pastel, oil pastels, whatever you think would look cool. Get those ready whilst I find my picture of my cheetah. Oh, it looks cool. Yeah, I suppose the spots are just spots, but I've always found that they look cool if you do black with, with um, yeah, that's interesting. On him, they're mostly black spots. So I guess we could just do them black then. Let's copy the picture. So what I've got, I would say I'm going to do a little bit of his face this colour. So I've got a sandy colour. So it depends what you've got that you're going to do it with. So I'm just going to outline there. kind of feel like I want to outline all of his body in this sandy colour. It's funny, isn't it, what you think it is and what it actually is in real life? Like, I thought those spots were like that, but I think that's more on a Jaguar. So how weird is that? No, I didn't realise, in the sense that it's easy to forget, isn't it? Because I've probably drawn one before. Right, I'm not doing too much of him that colour. I'm just colouring a little bit, just because I don't need to, really. And it looks kind of realistic if it's just a bit of him. Okay, then, black is always a cool thing to use. So I'm going to outline most of him black, if I'm honest. Now he's got this stripe around his face and this is what makes him look cool. So he's got the stripe there. And he's got quite a big dark head actually. And he's got quite a bit of dark there as well. So ultimately if you outline your one in black. So you're outlining it in the red, uh, the yellow or the, the colour that's like sand, but you're also outlining a bit of him in black. 
the tip of his tail's black, I believe. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's totally black. That looks cool. I'm just going to colour there. Right, we're doing the spots the very last. So there's most of him. Now I'm going to get my finger. This is when it kind of looks cool because the colours merge together. So you'll have mainly the sand, but because the black's so powerful and it's a colour, it will it will blend in as well. So it looks quite cool. Mm, he looks quite interesting like that. I'd go as far as to say he needs to be more. That's cool with his face. He needs to be more um, orange, I would say. Not orange, but kind of like that colour. So we could add that in wherever we feel we want to. Because he looks quite white, my one, because I didn't blend it very much. So you just add away. I almost feel that I don't need much white, do I? Okay. Ooh. Ooh. It's very smudgy wudgy. Okay, so there's most of him. Now what you can do is just do him all one colour and then outline in brown. You might prefer to do that. But what makes him look more like a cheetah? I'm going to do some brown here because I quite like the brown. And some brown there. I think it makes him look more warm looking. Because the black can end up making him look a little bit um, cold almost. Ooh, yeah. If that was running after me, I'd be a bit, a bit scared. Unless it was my pet, my little Anna, my pet at home. Don't have a pet, love a pet. Okay, right. Now, we're going to do black for, which oh, I've lost my black. No, nope. black spots. So what we want to do is go over, ignore. Well, you don't have to ignore it, but... You could ignore how I did my spots, but it looks quite interesting the way I did it, I thought. quite liked it. So it's up to you. I'm just going to do black for the sake of the video. Because they actually are black. <laughs> but I thought they had other things on them as well. Now he's got absolutely tons and tons of spots. But because you know he's got spots, I don't need to really add them all in. I can if I want. But... It's up to you what you want to do with that. Don't feel like you need to add them all in, if I'm honest. But they do look cool, don't they, when you add them in. He's got some on his tail as well. He's got lots, hasn't he? Oh, he looks awesome. Right, so that is, that's a quite an advanced, if I think about it. That will be hard for some of you, and it's okay if it's hard. Maybe just pause the video, do it again. Keep trying if you can't do it. And if you want a simpler version where I've got the head and it's just sitting in the grass, I can do that for you. But I thought it might be quite fun actually to do something that's a little bit more demanding. Definitely was demanding for me. Might just go over the eyes. Quite nice to outline them, isn't it? There we go. There's George. Oh, he looks cool. I'd say his tail needs to be way darker. So have a bit of fun with that, you know. Just try it. Just try it. doesn't matter if the legs look squiffy. It doesn't matter if his legs look all over the place. Just try it. It's something new. It's something to do. Um, and it's quite fun to see what you can create. I wouldn't mind... I don't know why. It's almost like he's flying through the... Because he's going so fast. You can see the background of the sky behind him, quite like that. Whee! There we are, and then you can just smudge away. My favourite. You can smudge like that around it, that'll look cool. Thinking of giving my pictures to everyone when I've finished my the lockdown drawings. So if you want it, let me know. I can reserve you the pictures. Because a lot of people have said that they like the pictures ah there we are and do you know what if you like it or not you could sign your name there's my signature <laughs> have, have fun with that and let me know how you get on subscribe and share and i shall see you tomorrow i'm just gonna do that i could carry on forever couldn't i i'm gonna see you tomorrow 
I'm going to draw, I'm not quite sure what I'm drawing tomorrow, but you'll have to tune in and have a look. Okay, see you soon.